That was quite the crash. I wouldn't have left the marsh had I known we were headed for such a spectacular landing. It's a miracle we all survived unharmed. Uh, we did all survive, didn't we? Yeah, I think so. Um, it'll take more than a little crash to hurt me. I'm okay too. A, a little shaken up is all. That's nice, Donstar. We were lucky. Only a fool braves the air currents without a proper wind map. You can't navigate the skies without them. Not safely, anyway. Um, well, I guess we're grounded until we find a wind map. So where are we going to find a wind map of this region? We can't follow Master Lee's captors without one. Things are even worse than that. Look at our flyer. Even if we had a wind map, this thing wouldn't take to the air again. Cool. Um, so we need a wind map and a flyer. <laughs> you make it sound so simple. Flyers and wind maps are rare things, even in the Imperial City. Out here, they're all but unknown. Gow and his pirates used flyers to attack two rivers, and the Lotus assassins who took Master Lee had them too. Somebody around here must know something about them. Okay. Um. Well, we'll figure something out. I'm... I'm sorry to get upset, but every second we're stuck here, Master Lee gets farther away from us. We're near Tien's mm -hmm. Landing. It's a small village, but maybe someone there knows where we can find a new flyer. If nothing else, I remember a clearing suitable for a camp. And if we can't find a flyer, we can always follow on foot. To the south of the village is a forest. A trade route leads through it to the Imperial City. The village is across the bridge and beyond a large marker stone. Look for the giant rock with a painting of a fish on it, and you'll know you're heading in the right direction. Okay, Zoo, you come with me. Very well, although I do not like the thought of remaining here for long. I sense something. This place is tainted. Something bad happened here. Yeah, we crashed our flyer. Yes, we crashed our flyer and almost died. See, no, Zoo's the one else. I want with me. I I'm sure it's nothing. Hurry, there has to be a safer place for us to camp than this. Yeah, we're on the same wavelength there with us and Zoo. Chapter 2. Wherein the fall of Dirge is detailed. The woman in black speaks of death's hand, and Gary the Greater learns the fate of his son. Two Rivers is in ruins, and Master Lee has been taken captive. It is clear that the attack was clear carefully orchestrated and that the shadowy forces have taken an interest in you, and those around you. Leaving your home of 20 years, you set out after death's hand and his Lotus assassins, at intent on discovering the reasons behind this assault. Fantastic. Oh, come on, Zoo. We're off to go find out the reasons behind this assault. Alone. Something does not rest easy. Okay. Um, that's fine. Ooh, what have we got in here? Nothing. Cool. Cool kind of shrine. Yeah. Nothing here, though. What about up here? Nothing. Nothing. Cool. Oh! Undead. Um, fire, I guess. Oh, that's the edge of the of the fight. Okay. Right, let's hit them with our fire attack. That's not working. Um. Yeah, I think we'll be better off just with our basic attack here. Just for a little bit. Allows us to dodge the ice a little bit easier. More easily. We'll use our chi for healing. And we'll use our chi for attacking, actually, for once. There we go. Turn off for Chi. And we got him. Cool. Oh, that doesn't look you good. You fell from the sky, but despite the maddened spirits here, you will benefit. A spirit monk was here long ago, fleeing the destruction that orphaned you. He carried a piece of your amulet. It was separated, broken apart, so your enemies could not find it easily. You have the first piece. It trains your abilities now. The second piece fell here with its minder, hidden until waters receded. A guardian protects it, waiting to test and serve you. 
The third piece awaits discovery in a distant lair. These three pieces are physical, but there is one more. It cannot be found, only earned. This final piece is all that will save you in the end. Easy okay. day. You fell flat on your face after the fight. Are you prone to that sort of thing? No, not really. But it does show that vision there showed Master Lee's uh, lie to us. Because he told us that we were the last spirit monk and that all the rest died at Dirge. Now what we know is at least one escaped with a piece of an amulet and there are implications that more than one escaped with pieces of amulet. Which means that there were quite a few spirit monks left alive. Just an interesting thought. Um, we're not going to tell him anything. Never mind, let's get moving. Very well. Where you choose to take a nap is your business. Yeah, well, you I haven't told us anything about you. Outside of Tien's Landing, where we can set up camp. The flyer will be safe enough if we leave it here. It's not going to get any worse, that's for certain. Just cross the bridge and head south. Let's get going. Okay. Grab our chi bonus. Just want to check the corners, see that we don't miss anything. Although I think we can come back here if we like, because it's connected to the main area. Uh, is this the way we want to go? This is the way we want to go, which means that down here... Alright, there's nothing there. Cool. We can head up. Um, yeah, we'll just head up the hill here. Ooh, some weird stuff going on there. I'm going to kick this. Oh. Undead spawn. Probably not the smartest move I've ever had. I'll admit. Right, tag. Let's kill these guys. Right. Ooh. That was a nice block. A couple of kicks in for us. Dodge over the top. A couple of kicks in. Right. Trying to avoid getting hit. Can we use our power attack? There we go. Actually worked. Fantastic. Got him. Oh, we got more chief. Which we're going to use for healing, unfortunately. It's not the most efficient way to heal, but... Like, it works. It works early anyway. So we're going to keep going. Uh, once we get a little bit more chi and a little bit more health, we'll be able to actually uh, better utilize these things. Ooh, spirit font, fantastic. Get up to full. So here's a bridge. Oh, bones. What have we got in the bones? Oh, money, fantastic. So here's a bridge that we cannot access yet. So this is probably a way to somewhere else that we'll come back to later. Then we got this bridge. Cool. Can I hear something there? I thought I heard some fighting. Nope. Ooh, conscripts. Um, well, we'll hit them with our sword. And that's the best way to deal with these guys right now. Given that we can't use our sword against the ghost, we might as well use it against the humans. Oh, missed. Oh, they already took down uh, Zoo. That's not good. Over the head. And that's just this one left. Ooh. Dodge out of the way. Heal up, heal up, heal up. And down. Cool. Can we go back to that font and heal up again, or is it one use thing? I can't remember whether these are one use or not. Oh, these aren't one use. Fantastic. Well, we'll just head back and heal. Right, keep using our sword, unless we come into any ghosts, then we'll use our basic attack. Cool, well that was fairly easy bridge to cross. Um, bamboo cast. Money. Cool. Kind of got stuck in place there. Uh, this doesn't lead anywhere, does it? Oh. Okay. Ooh. Somebody's watching us. Stop where you are. Death's hand should know better than to send his minions out alone. It is clear Excuse that me? you are one of his hirelings, or perhaps one of Gao the Greater's marauding pirates. You will pay for the crimes you have committed. 
Um. Yeah, get out of my way. Don't waste your last breath on lies. I didn't get there in time to help anyone, but I saw you lead the massacre in two rivers. Clearly, you were involved. Death's hand went too far in ordering its destruction, and Gao the Greater sought to profit from it. My retribution will end with them, but it will begin with you. Ah, uh, okay. But we'll get her down. Uh, how about Dire Flame? That seems cool. Yeah. Let's uh, just kill her with it. That was easy enough. The way you move seems odd. A flaw I cannot see, perhaps? But you are better than I expected. You might even beat me if I allowed such insolence. You are too skilled to be just a hireling. Death's Hand would view such ability outside his assassins as dangerous. And Gao the Greater prefers his servants docile. Uh-huh. Who are you? Uh, why do you fight the Death's... Oh, why do you fight the Lotus Assassins? Death's Hand may be our common foe, but the enemy of my enemy is not necessarily my friend. Uh huh. You chase a great evil, larger than you realize. Leave and you may survive. Others have tried to face Death's Hand, but were destroyed, as Two Rivers was. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, my business with Death's Hand is my own. You show no fear. Even after seeing the power he wields. A trait of fools. And perhaps the occasional hero. I also seek answers from Death's Hand and his minions. If you truly oppose him, you will need to find your way to the Imperial City. Of course, only the Lotus Assassins can come and go as they please, thanks to Gao. Travel routes by land and water are blocked. But they use wind maps and flyers to further their goals here and in the surrounding forest. Perhaps, if you are capable, we will meet again. I wish you good luck, but you will need far more than that to survive. Farewell. You're a weird lady. And I wish I knew how to jump. Right, uh, let's head have a look down there. Nothing down there. Cool. Well, we'll keep on heading into this uh, spooky looking area. Uh, we can't kick this one? Yeah, fair enough. I guess we've learned. Oh, weird fish. So presumably to the right is the way to the landing, like the fishing village. And to the left is... Way to goat land. A couple of people who aren't fighting us. Hello. Ooh, a bamboo cast. This area is off limits. Intruders will be executed. Aw. Uh. Who are you? I am a soldier of the Imperial Army, sent by Death's Hand to destroy anyone foolish enough to enter this place. Okay. Unfortunately, this includes you. Kill the peasant. Oh. Oh, well, that's not good. Uh, oh, it also started us next to the invisible wall. Cool. Uh, let's use our AoE fire, see if we can get anyone in it. Nobody got caught by that. Okay. Use our large attack. Not come over. Oh, wow. I think I overestimate these guys. Let's uh, take him out with our sword. Get behind them. One more hit. Mm -hmm. And this one, we'll just leave uh, Zoot again. Yeah, then we got him. We gained some money. Wait, stop. I'm not your enemy. I, I swear by my ancestors, I'm not your enemy. I'm not even a soldier. Okay. Uh, well, you wear the uniform of the Imperial Army. Even though I wear this uniform, I I'm no soldier. My name is Chen Yi. I'm just a simple peasant from the town of One Stone. These soldiers passed through my village a few weeks ago. One of them angered the Lotus Assassin who was in charge, and the Assassin killed him. As I was coming back in from the fields, they grabbed me to fill his place. They put this uniform on me, blood stains and all, and told me I was in the army. Oh, okay. Um, add some my questions if you want to live. I, I will do my best, but I don't know anything. The Lotus Assassins just told us to guard the gate while they searched the ruins. 
that's all. I, I swear. Uh huh. Tell me about Los Assassins. They are evil, pure evil. They forced me to serve them. They would have killed me if I disobeyed. I, I had no choice but to guard this door while they searched the ruins. Okay, what are they searching for? I don't know. I was here on the far side of the gate, and the gate itself is locked. Only the Lotus Assassins themselves are allowed into the ruins. Okay. Do you know anything about them? No, nothing. Only that the gate leading into them was locked. The Lotus Assassins had to get a key from Sheng, the Imperial Minister in Tian's Landing. Uh-huh. But I think... I think the ruins are haunted. I hear strange sounds coming from beyond the gates. But even the threat of ghosts can't keep the assassins from their search. Zhu, you, you you better stay quiet. You have no more use to me. Time to die. Uh, I may be easy prey for one of your might, but I will die with honor. No. You won't. You got hit in. I mean... That's something, actually. Only because I ran out of um, focus. Right, let's see what he's got. So this gate is locked, he said. Let's just uh, check that. You need a key to open this door from the Imperial Minister Sheng. Cool. What have we got in here? A trap. Yeah, better heal while that's going on. This? Silk strings. What is silk string? Like, what do I use those for? Do I even have an inventory screen? I have a technique screen. Um, I don't think I have an invent. Oh, they're plot items. Silk strings. These strings are carefully woven and made of the finest silk. They look as if they were made for a musical instrument. Oh. Okay. Oh, focus shrine. Get our focus back so we can use more sword. And a chest. Flawed warrior gem. And 422 silver. Fantastic. We will walk away with that. Right. Well, I guess we'll head to Tien's Landing and see if anyone in here has anything to talk about. Maybe. There you are. Yeah, cutscene. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't want to wait back there any longer. I don't think anything will hurt the flyer. It's plenty hurt already. Mm-hmm. I found this gem in the wreckage. I'm not sure what it was attached to, but I'm sure you can use it for something. Now that we're here, we should see if anyone knows anything about flyers. Maybe whoever is in charge of the town can help us get underway again. Unless you need me, I will stay here at this new camp. It seems safe enough, and it may as well serve as a base for us. Mm-hmm. Cool, we have a base, and we have a new gem. Right, good fortune. What is this gem? Plus five intuition, plus one mind, plus one spirit. So we'll get rid of the flawed warrior gem. And we'll put in good fortune. Right, what's in the chest? Money, cool. Now, here's basically our, our base I can't camp. I believe Two Rivers is gone. Oh, okay. It was home. The people there were the only family I've known, and now they're all gone. Ah, uh, we get it. I understand, Dawnstar, but the path you are on may lead to even darker places. You must prepare yourself. I don't want to think like that. We will set things right. We have to. Hmm. I don't think we can. We may have to settle for vengeance. I... I know. I just wish there was a way to put things back the way they were. Okay, so we're going to talk to our companions now. Um, I need to, I believe I need to put Zoo back. I need to put him away. So how do I do that? I am on. Let's keep things simple. If someone gets in our Thanks. way, remove them. Okay, I don't think I can put him, him away properly. Okay, I guess we can talk to him though. Yes? Is there something you want? Um, I have questions about you and uh, Lotus Assassins. I can assure you that I no longer share an allegiance with them. It was a short dalliance that ended on poor terms. Mm-hmm. Why did you leave them? I won't discuss that. 
Perhaps I will say more when I know your motives better, but for now my past is my own. Okay. Well, I'm not press it then. For now. I'm not concealing anything that will harm you or your cause. You and Dawnstar have my full support. But my past is my own affair. Okay, Goodbye, well, then. thank you. That's all we needed to talk to him about, apparently. Dawnstar. Is there anything you need? I'll do whatever I can to help. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm interested in how, in how you are, Dawnstar. Is there anything bothering you? No, I didn't have anything pressing on my mind. Although your company is always welcome. We seem so far from anything familiar. Strange enemies, troubling plots. I will be glad when we can leave this place to find Master Lee. Mm-hmm. Uh, be goodbye. well, my friend. Well, I guess they don't have much to say. Uh, right. Ooh, that's the way to the dam site if we went, like, up that path. Here's the way to the goat herding, uh, minigame, which we're not gonna play. I am, of course, joking about that. There is no goat herding minigame. Although, I'm sure it would've been fantastic. Um, right. What have we got down here? Hmm. Anything at this side of the building? Nope. Okay. Cool. Let's uh, head into the village itself. Stranger, forgive me for being so forward, but if you are wise, you will turn around and leave this cursed and miserable town. Mother and I are getting out of this town. If you have any sense, you'll do the same. Hush, daughter. You must treat strangers with respect. Once we're outside of town, we must be very careful with everyone we meet. Um, who are you? I am Yi Fong, a simple villager. I have lived all my life here in Tien's Landing, but now I must take my daughter and venture out into the wilderness. It doesn't sound like she used enough words to fill this space. It's sure to be more exciting than this dead place. Though impulsive, my daughter Fayo speaks truly. The great dam downriver has opened. The river is too low and treacherous for anyone to navigate. We are cut off from the empire. The people are starving, and pirates terrorize the town. Our leader, Minister Sheng, seems powerless to do anything, so we choose to try our own luck in the wilderness. Um. What good would uh, running do? Why not find a solution? You don't know the whole story. Minister Sheng would probably pay someone to close the dam, but no one is brave enough to make the journey. There are dark things up there. Some claim it is ghosts trying to torment us. Some think it is pirates. I don't know. All I know is that it seems to be no way to get to the great dam closed again. Um. So, do you think so? Do you think things will be any better if you leave town? I have heard of the dangers, wild animals and worse men, pirates and slavers who swoop down in their flyers on unwearied the travelers. The pirates are Gao the Greater's men. He has holdings near here, and access to quite a lot of flyers, as you've seen. I have never heard of Gao the Greater, but pirates have terrorized this region for many weeks. Anyone wandering in the wilderness knows the risk being caught by these slavers. Some believe there is even worse things in the wilderness, ghosts that torment the living. Still, it's better than sitting in Tien's Landing waiting to die. Why did the dam open? I don't know. Minister Sheng doesn't know. Nobody knows, but the town is dying, and I would rather try my luck in the wilderness than stay here. If the dam is open, why is the river so low? The dam is downriver from us. When it was closed, the water backed up and it drained very slowly, causing levels of the river to rise. Now that it's open, the water is flowing too fast and low where it flows at all. Most ships cannot weather it. The town is cut off, and that is why we are leaving. Can you tell me more about the pirates? I haven't seen any myself, but they are there. I have friends who have seen them, and others have disappeared. It is more than mere rumours. That is why I have taste chosen to take Foyo to the wilderness. At least there will be a fighting chance. Where is Foyo's father? Life in a small town on the edge of the empire can be hard, and many people die on timely deaths. What more needs to be said on the subject? The survivors must carry on best they can. Now, Foyo and I should be on our way. If we braze the wilderness, I would rather do it with the sun still in the sky. 
Um, I'll let you be on your way. Very well, honored traveler. But you must enter Tian's Landing. Speak to Minister Sheng in the town square. But a better plan would be get away while you can. See ya. Well, that was useful. They told us a lot of good information. Hello? Out of our way, woman. In this town, we don't step aside for you. You step aside for us. The peasants of this village may cower before you, but I do not. If you are smart, you will apologize for your behavior and walk away. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> you think I won't hit a woman? You have to learn your place. This whole town has to learn its place. What are you looking at? This doesn't concern you. Um. Uh, I just want to watch while you rough her up. You've got a smart mouth. Let's see how smart it is after I knock out all your teeth. No, I was serious. Uh, okay. Let's burn them all. At least they'll all run away. The burning. There we go. We got two of them. And then we'll hit the third one with our knockback. And just keep hitting them with it. I should do it. Just keep hitting them over. And that one's down. Cool. That was fairly easy. Hui, what are you doing here? It's been a long time, Zhu. I haven't seen you since that night. I did as you asked. The child is safe. I made sure of that. I know. After we spoke, I followed you. I... I wanted to be sure she was given a good home. You did well, Hui. What child? Hui and I knew each other long ago. She was a soldier and I... I needed her help. There was a child. An orphan. I knew Hui could find a good home for her. Mm-hmm. Who is this child? She was just a girl. Her parents were... Dead. I couldn't look after her, and I knew Hui by reputation. I knew she would find a good home for her. Where is the child now? She's safe. That's all you need to know. She doesn't concern you. Besides, we don't have time to worry about something that happened almost 20 years ago. Almost 20 years yes, ago, you say? Yes, those are old worries. Thank you for your actions today. Even if these men were no real threat, just simple sailors frustrated at the shallow river that holds them here. There are pirates in the area, and they pose a far greater danger. You will likely encounter them, especially if you are the one I am waiting for. As Sagacious Zhu mentioned, my name is Hui. Tell me, young man, what is your master's name? Um... Well, I guess you already know it's Master Lee. I have waited here many years for the arrival of one special fighter. Your master, Sun Lee, bid me to wait until you, his protege, came seeking information. So it's true. Master Lee really is the Emperor's brother. I wish... I wish I had known. He is gone, isn't he? Taken by the Lotus Assassins just as he thought. He knew they were always searching. They are right to fear him and his legacy. The glorious strategist was certain the path to the Imperial City would bring you here. He was also very specific about how I present my information to you. You must be ready. Um... Yeah, how could he anticipate I would crash here? You had a flyer. You're right, I doubt he anticipated that. The glorious strategist accounts for every possibility within the known conditions. Had you simply flown past... Well, I do not want to contemplate that. My time here would have meant little. I served under Sun Li and was trusted enough to be contacted after Dirge fell. He told me of the weeks-long siege and how spirit monks were slaughtered so his brother could take their temple. It was madness. The Emperor killed the water dragon itself. Oh, the water dragon. The shepherd of the dead, a goddess of rebirth. 
to try and steal her power, to even think it could be attempted. Has any mortal ever shown such arrogance? Hmm. Well, not much of a god if she fell to the Emperor's bluster. There are many beings that exist beyond our experience. The heavens are governed by a celestial bureaucracy. Each facet of existence is managed by a specialized attendant. Most appear to have little influence, but some, like the Water Dragon, have a portfolio that grants exceptional status. She was said to have governance over the Great Wheel. She was not a maker, but all life that ended passed her gaze before returning to the Earth in another form. Sun Hai sought rebirth for his empire at the cost of the natural order. Her body was taken to the palace as a grim trophy of the power that ended the long drought. All the while, the people hailed the Emperor as a hero, ignorant of the price. Hmm. So, how did he kill the god? The Water Dragon's power was tied to her temple at Dirge and the strength of her servants. When the spirit monks were slain and Dirge fell, she became vulnerable. Her physical form could be injured, but she was also a god. Maybe her spirit still exists. I don't know. I'm no expert on the heavens. Mm-hmm. Um, so what do you know about the Great Wheel and the Celestial Bureaucracy? The Great Wheel is a way to envision the cycle of rebirth. I believe that when something dies, it is reborn as something else. After some form of assessment, of course. The celestial bureaucracy is said to govern the heavens. Just as cities have minor officials, existence is delegated across many entities, some more grand than others. Or so some choose to believe. It is probably better explained by a philosopher. I know as much as any person that has seen their share of death. Hmm. So why hasn't anyone mentioned the burning of Dirge before now? Few people know what happened. Dirge is a remote temple located high in the mountains. There were no worshippers save for the spirit monks themselves. The Emperor covered up his terrible crime, and the people didn't really care. All that mattered was that the drought was over. Okay. So this is why Master Lee went into hiding. Even a god is not invincible. They have their place and it can be challenged. Sun Li could not stop the slaughter of the spirit monks. He fled the battle with you in his arms. Most believe Sun Li fell at Dirge, a lie spread by the Emperor. A handful of us knew that he lived, and we also learned the terrible price of his rebellion. Li's wife was with child, his daughter born in the Imperial Palace while he was at Dirge. He never saw her. Within weeks of the siege, the Emperor had Li's family executed. <laughs> executed? Murdered? The Lotus Assassins were to cut them down. A mother and newborn child. I have no doubt that order came from Death's hand himself. Mm-hmm. So what's so special about me, apart from being a spirit monk? He probably didn't think his family would be harmed, but... Even had he known, he might still have saved you. Lee knows you have a destiny to fulfill. You're the last of your kind. The natural order has been disrupted. There is much to say, but first, I was instructed to impart some very specific knowledge. Your master was very clear. Okay. It is time to continue your training, and I am honored to add to the basics that Sun Lee instilled. A brief description should reinforce the style you saw me use. Um, okay. Sure. Certain lessons had to be withheld until you were ready for the attention they will bring. Sun Li taught me so that I would teach you. I must train you in Spirit Thief. Magic and weapons tire you. Draw on them too much and you could be left defenseless. Spirit Thief restores your chi, prolonging your ability to fight or ignore wounds. It is especially useful when enemies are immune to basic martial attacks, when you must use magic or weapons. It can even immobilize a foe, allowing time to recover even more. 
This short lesson should be enough for now. Come speak with me in the tea house. We will talk of your master and more. Okay. We gained the style Spirit Thief. Now, if we go to skills, I think. Not skills. Where do you look at styles? Styles, okay, Spirit Thief. Uh, we'll map that to, I don't know, six. That'll be fine. Uh, what is Spirit Thief? Unique styles. Range Chi from enemies. Does direct damage in Chi Strike mode. Spirit Thief's power attack inflicts damage, but does not drain Chi in Chi Strike mode. Okay. So, that's interesting. Those most adept at manipulating Chi find that even the spiritual en energy of others is within their grasp. The strikes and forms of the Spirit Thief style enable practitioners to tap an enemy's vital energies and refill their own reserves. Whilst technique of this style does no physical damage to its victims without being charged with the user's Chi, those who face a Spirit Thief Master find themselves without the resolve to put their hearts into the fight. So basically this allows us to, I believe, get resources back and allows us to potentially do some other cool stuff. So it's an interesting style and we'll try it out a few bit, a little bit, see if it fits in with what we're planning. It might be useful to have this as our secondary. So like Dire Flames, our main one, we kind of use that at range and then Spirit Thief we use in melee and kind of use it to heal up. And maybe that means we don't need to use Legendary Strike as much. I don't know, that can be cool. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.